crap. That was the worst BM solo. Okay, never again. I'm literally never doing a BM solo again when I'm tired. That was the literal worst BM solo I've ever done in my life. Welcome back to Solo, the series where I am not allowed to have friends. In the last episode, we did a bunch of Karapak and we got our first piece of a fractured staff of Armadol. That's an absolutely significant upgrade, and if we could finish the whole staff, it would be insane. It would change just about everything that we'd be doing on this series, but we're gonna hold off on that just for a little bit, and here's why. First off, my Karapak kills are awful. We get seven, eight, nine, even 10 minute kills on a task, and at that kill speed, it would be literally weeks and possibly even months to complete a full staff based on the drop rates. In addition to that, once we even got our Fractured Staff of Armadol, the rune cost is so absolutely ridiculous that I don't feel like we'd be able to take full advantage of it anyway. With that in mind, we're going to turn our attention to the Lang Realm and the Glacier Front. We're going to be going to the Arch Glacier to at very least get ourselves the Wen Book. The Wen Book is extremely strong, it's a good AoE and it will make my Beastmaster solos a whole lot easier, especially with clearing all the Eretz at the start. In addition to that, if we end up getting ourselves a Leng Sword, that's a massive five tier upgrade over the Dragor we had before, so it's something that'll help us out. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. So first thing we gotta do is we gotta do a normal kill, activate all the mechanics. Watch me get the book. Oh my god, what is this pet? I am not doing that pet. Okay. That is our first normal mode kill. What do we get for loot? Oh, I gotta drop sharks for this too. I just 700k. I know it's not actually worth that much, but um, this game is crazy, dude. It's actually crazy. Alrighty, that is our first kill. Let us go. Oh yeah, it's this, of course. We'll we'll do it the fun way for the first kill. Woo! On the first kill, we're getting 72 remnants. Amazing. That's not too bad though. We'll continue the streak. 50 kill streak is 12 Nihilus in one drop. That's really good, actually. Yeah, I mean, we'll see what the core drop rate looks like, too. I always get worried that they're gonna, like, adjust stuff on the fly, because they do that a lot. All right, boss, what do you got for me? 200 crush nests? Wait. My loot changed. Wait, what? Yeah, I mean, what they've done is they've... They've made a boss that teaches you how to PPM, right? And then they've weighted it heavily in favor of streaking, which is consistency. So they want people working on their PVMing consistency. I think that's fine. I don't have an issue with that. Also, look at the kill time. Wait, dude, we're flying. Like a bird. See ya, bro. Thank you for the 1400 bird's nest. This boss is actually changing my life. This boss is changing my life. Bananas, if that makes sense. Oh my god, Luca! After you've done first 4K Ice Telos, and you're like, you're everyone's talking about you, I was wondering if we could stage a beef. What'll happen is I will challenge you to a fight, and then I'll fly down to Texas to meet you. But then, when we meet up, we tell everyone it's for this epic fight, but in reality, I just take you out for food. Wait, that's Pog. That's really, really Pog. But I want to streak it. Oh no, what do I do? Oh God. What? Do I... I really want to streak it though. Oh no, what do I do? Uh, defer to Twitch chat. Defer to Twitch chat. Thank you. Thank you all so much. That's, uh, that's actually, uh, thanks guys. Wow. Even Lucas said to claim it. Alrighty. That's, uh, that's one of the most lopsided pulls I've ever had. Guess I'm claiming it. That's my book. Some of your words could not be deposited. <laughs> you need to clear space and try again. Um, yeah, no, banks, bank cleaning stream. No, we're good. We don't need a bank cleaning stream. Don't worry. Don't worry. Wait, what happened? Wait, where did my book go? Wait, where the hell did my book go? Wait. <laughs> Wait. No shot. Oh, there it is. We got our book back. Amazing. Oh, holy moly. Finn, thank you so much for the gift sub. Out to Crossy Roads. That's ve very much appreciated. 
Um, someone in stream just said claim. It doesn't do anything. What do you claim? We're losing it. Magical first fence to teleport. Wait, what? I. Hello? The boss is dead. Okay. Um. Wait, no way I lose my streak to this. Do I actually? Okay, I'm gonna say two things. First off, I'm gonna say no flame. And with all due respect, how is this still in the game? The, uh, are you kidding me? What, that's, that's bad actually. That's actually pretty bad. Imagine losing like an 100 and something kill streak because you killed the boss and the game was like, but did you really though? How's the new book? It's uh, currently off, but it's really good. Yeah, no, it's very strong. Wait, this might be a PR. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> Mm -mm, no longer. Shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking part of it too. And this is this is gonna get into the into the weird champ zone. But I think there are unironically people whose damage output abilities have it's fused and become part of their identity. It's easy to project that on other people too, and assume that oh this person can't DPS well. They must be stupid. They must not be very smart. They must not be as you know intelligent as me because I know how to follow a spreadsheet. Yeah, I feel like streaking zero to 500 is the sweet spot, honestly. I also feel like I have a way better chance getting these weapons on this account, or I sorry, this boss than I do getting an FSA on, um, from Karapek. This boss being scalable and stuff is just, it's a game changer. Ooh, seven pages. I'm good with seven pages. I wouldn't be surprised if they just forgot to code in the enrage buffer. Zero claims is the meta. Bring back the fourth beam. Oh no. Imagine if they did. Oh my god! Oh. Wait. Ah, uh, that's a claim. That's a claim. I. Now that I know how rare they are, when I first got a big Niles drop, I was like, the only objectively smart thing is to streak them. Now I know how freaking rare they are. No shot. We claim those. We take all of those. So now I need eight Nihilus and one core to make a tier 95. That's not bad for like a day where we were barely paying attention. Um, okay, I was going to say the bad news is we don't have everything we need for the, uh, for the swords. But... I can make myself a beautiful set of wings that will allow us to uh, to potentially not die alone. What do you guys think? Who wants to gift you a sub? I'm going to gift you a time app. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Can I do this without prey? Let's try it. Ha! Okay. It would appear we cannot do that without prey. <laughs> I was told it made us perm for 83. Yeah, that was a joke because no one was perm for 83, including the content creators that did it and bragged about doing it. And then... What the hell is this? <laughs> 7,500 nests? What in the world? That's actually obscene. Like, that is... that. I don't feel like I've earned these. I feel like I'm playing on a private server. Like, what What in the world? All right, play up, you boss. Seven mil, that's nothing. Ain't no thing. All right, let's get up to 508. So it's time to get our Ice Telos Warden title. Well, here we go. Um, That is the Iceborne title. Not too bad. And a battle staff drop. I guess we'll continue the streak, right? I guess we may as well. No reason not to. All righty, boss. See ya, bro. Is it time? Look at all the onyx dust. But uh, that's not a drop. We continue. Considering I'm like out of apots and I'm low on food too, we might make this last kill. What do you got for you, boss? 
It's almost over 9,000 crush nests. That's actually really sick. Just because the kills are getting real slow. That is a 58 kill streak, 0 to 666. That's my new max in rage. I'm going to claim it. 9,000 crush nests. Bunch of remnants. I'm good with that. I'm totally good with that. This is a mug with my face on it. Is it a premium mug with materials sourced from around the world? No. Is it a large mug for all of your coffee drinking needs? Also no. Is it expensive? No. Is it a mug that's safe to drink out of? I, uh, I honestly don't know. But it is, in fact, a mug with my face on it. And you can get your very own at thersguy.com. Yeah, I got this mug. It's a decent price. Shipping is not so terrible either. All right, just in time is about to make a nice cup of tea, I must say. It was absolutely fantastic sipping my tea out of this beautiful mug with my second favorite streamer's face on it. 10 out of 10, would recommend to a friend. So here's the deal. Um, the biggest thing I want to work on on this account right now, and there are like a hundred steps to this process. I'm gonna I'm gonna put that out of the way right off rip. Like, this is a very very massive multi-step plan that will be absolutely extreme. What I want to do is I want to learn to solo Beastmaster without super brews. If I can solo Beastmaster without super brews, I can just do as many BM solos as I want because Ice Telos is a thing. And I have 12,000 crush nests. Uh, first thing we might be doing, actually, which is maybe not the most hype thing in the world, but um, the things that are gonna help me solo BM without using super brews. One, I'm just gonna get good. Two, I now have a when book. The when book is really, really, really sick. Um, third thing, I need a captain's log for this. Hold up, do that. Third thing, if we go to my ports, if we go to my ports, I just got in to the shield. Uh, the shield is where you can get the pieces that you need to make the tier 88 ports weapons. So that's going to be really sick. That'll be a big help. I have enough resources to make the offhand. Not enough for the main hand just yet. But those also require 92 runecrafting. Why am I mentioning runecrafting? Well, I'm mentioning runecrafting because it's not because I don't have a lot of blood runes, but it's actually because I have two rune pouches and 45 magical thread. I need three rune pouches to do this because we're going to be doing some shenanigans with smoke cloud, with anime dead, with blood spells, with entangles. We're going to be messing around with a bunch of different stuff. So that's kind of the idea. So with that in mind, um, I thought we would start things off by doing our Arch Glacier Reaper. I have five kills left on my Arch Glacier Reaper. We'll grab a new Reaper. And then after that, I think we might actually get some rune crafting done today. Save me! Activate! Activate Squid! <laughs> oh my god, that guy sucked. Well, <laughs> so anyway, it's not my fault. Like, I was very polite, but it was just. Wait, is he actually? No, Squid! Squid, help! How could he help? Ha! Squid! For Smitty's intro, her undercard, it said, um, spends most of her time protecting Ryan from his own mods. That's directly at Cash. And Coach as well, actually. And it's actually true. I don't necessarily need a reason to ban someone from my community or remove them, right? Also, that is 89 runecrafting. 80, wait. Yeah, 80, wait. 89? Yeah, just 89, we're winning. Steam rune crafting, because I don't have the level. And let's make ourselves three small rune pouches. No, I'm kidding. Uh, let's make ourselves a large rune pouch. Let's go. I'm actually so proud of us that we did that in one, one sitting. Let's do like, I get hit by a something every two and a half seconds, okay?
Wait a sec. I did just do a pause champ. I think I did that right. That means over the course of a BM solo, even only saving me 150 damage per, I get hit so many times that Animate Dead will save me 180,000 damage. Your wife is making curry. I'm happy for you. I'm alone. Okay. <laughs> this is the... This is where the fun begins. <laughs> This looks like, like a meme. It looks like a meme setup, but this is actually the setup. Run away, I'm bringing two books. It's because one of them only works for the first 20 minutes and the other one will last the whole time. Well, the remaining bit. Wait, I still have an animated Fred. Do it, please. Oh, I did. Okay, we're good. No, my book, get back in the book. That's so sad. Okay, wait a second. You know what I'm gonna do really quick? <laughs> One second. I need to do the whole horde on no food. <laughs> and I was praying turmoil. Okay, yeah, yeah. One second. One second. One second. <laughs> I just need some good book procs, though. That's the important thing. Is like if I'm not getting the book procs, it becomes very difficult. Go book. This is the best. This is actually the best. They're all dead. <laughs> oh no, I'm having way too much fun with this man. Are you kidding me? Like, I'm not even kidding. This is like the, this is the best run by like a factor of 300. Also, it's funny to say a 45, uh, 45 minute kill is going to be my fastest one ever, but this will actually be my fastest kill ever. <laughs> so I think that's extremely cool. And... You don't want to get greedy here because he can't hit really hard. That is a Gobi survive. How did you survive for an hour? We did a raid feat. We did prison riot in a solo. That is, that is something. Daredevil solo when? Alrighty. So that was our best PM solo ever by far. That was absolutely filthy. Animate Fred came in clutch. We had food to spare, didn't even need to go into the unicorn. I'm gonna say right now, we can do this every two days. Literally every two days until I get corruption. All right, team. Our luck of the dwarves is on. What have you got for us? Can you imagine? I'm still really happy with 1k techie, actually. 1k techie is good. Everything else there is completely useless. How many techie total? 6,000 techie out of how many do we need? We only need 15k, so we're like, we're over a third of the way there. That's sick. What a papa. We did 20,000 blood runes in one sitting. Made a rune pouch and then soloed BM with it. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.